um, repugs in DC just pretended not to see it. A lot of the, the, the repugs are acting puzzled about 45's re-election pitch. Basically, he has no message, and he never really did. He needs to articulate why he wants a second term, which he won't get. Um, some have expressed hope that 45 would find a way to become less polarizing, as if polarization were not, um, were not in the reason, re reason of his own, of his squadency. It's hard to know if repugs like this are truly naive, or if they're just pretending so they don't have to admit what a foul enterprise they've become a part of. Because 45 does indeed to have a re-election message, and it's a stark and obvious one. It's white power. Um, that's basically what his message is, white power. Um, the squatters started this week by tweeting out a video that encapsulates the soul of his movement. In it, there's a man in the, vill in the villages in the fluent Florida retirement community. The guy shouts out white power at protesters from a golf cart that's decked out with, with um, 45 signs. Thank you to the great people of the villages, wrote 45. Only after several hours in a panic among White House staffers did the squatter delete this tweet. His, spokes, his spokesman claimed he hadn't heard his supporters' extremely clear words, and that is bullshit, because if you listen to the video, about eight seconds in, the guy shouts it, and you hear another guy repeat it. Um, so there's no way in hell that 45 cannot have fucking heard that. Um, but the guy, but 45 never, naturally never disavowed them. And why would he? Repugs might act as if they don't know why why 45's fans are so unfailingly loyal. Some commentators spent the first year or two of his squadency dancing around the reason he was elected, spending so much time probing the economic anxiety of his base that the phrase came to stand for a type of willful political blindness. But 45 understands that he became a significant po political figure by spreading the racist lie that Barack Obama was really born in Kenya and not Hawaii. He launched his history... Um, his history-making squatteral bid with the speech calling Mexican immigrants rapists and, and adopted a slogan, American First, which, pre which is previously associated with the raging anti-Semitic Charles Lindbergh. Throughout the 2016 campaign, he won the invaluable prize of, of, of earned media with the escalating racist provocations which his supporters relished and which captivated the cable news. People voted for, for 45 for reasons besides his racism. There was also sexism, too. Some voters were just Part, some voters were just partisan repugs, or thought that the reality TV is real and that 45 was successful as the printers made him, made him seem, which he wasn't. I once met a young man at a 45 rally who voted for Obama but was worried about the taxes he, he had pay when he um, taxes he'd pay when he inherited his family's car dealership. 45, however, seems to grasp that racism is what put him over the top. It's what made his campaign seem wild and, tran and transgressive and hard to look away from. Now, 45's poll numbers are cratering. We have double-digit unemployment, and our pandemic-ravaged nation has been rendered an international pariah. America is faring exactly as well under 45's leadership as did his businesses, like his casinos, airline, and scam university did. It's not surprising that he's returning to what he knows and what seemed to work for him before. In fact, 45 appears... To think his problem is that he, um, appears to think that his problem is that he isn't racist enough. On Wednesday, Axios's Jonathan Swan reported that 45 regrets listening to his son-in-law Jared Kushner's what they call woke ideas, as the source put it, including on criminal justice reform. Mm -hmm. Instead, he wants to double down on law and order. He truly believes that there is a silent majority out there that, that that that's going to come out in droves in November. A source told Swan, and so and so um last week. As if to prod that silent majority, 45 tweeted out videos of black people assaulting white people. Where the protesters, he asked, he has made some point of calling the coronavirus the Kong flu, which is a racist term for the Chinese people, at a time when, it, when at, at a time even when Mississippi is removing Confederate imagery, imagery from its state flag, 45 has thrown himself into protection of what he calls our heritage. He signed an executive order directing um, federal law enforcement to prosecute people who damage federal monuments, threatening them with up to 10 years in prison and was holding funds from the municipalities that don't protect statues. Whether this latter prob um, pro um, provision is enforceable is, is unclear. He said he said he would veto a $741 billion bill over a provision written by Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts requiring that military bases honoring Confederate, um, the Confederate soldiers be renamed. A pop, a, a pop, a pop apoplectic over um, New York... Um, City's plans to paint the words Black Lives Matter on Fifth Avenue in front of 45 Tower. He called it the slogan a symbol of hate. 45 is a symbol of hate because he hates anybody that isn't white. Um, on Tuesday, um, 45 tweeted that he was considering scrapping an Obama, an Obama era housing re regulation that required localities to address 
the legal patterns of the squatter role um, of the residential seg um, segregation. He claimed that the initiative, which his administration had already put in limbo, was having a devastating impact on those once thriving in suburban areas. The message to his um, white supporters seemed clear enough. 45 is going to fight to stop people of color from going from coming to your neighborhood. The Times reported on the on the squatter's rationale. 45 and his campaign team already concerned about his weakness in battleground states have become increasingly alarmed by the international polling, showing a softening of support among suburban voters. 45 sees clearly and more and more clearly than than most of his party is that the ra that the racism is the main thing he has to offer. Um, um, there's good reason to think that he's misjudging these suburban vo voters. Polls show that a growing number of them, particularly women, are repelled by 45's race baiting and divisiveness, but rep repugs who complain that the squatter is undisciplined is that he can't adhere to a strategy and miss the point. Bigotry has always been the, has, has always been his strategy. The re, the repugs who support him are yoked to that strategy. The real frustration isn't that it's ugly, but it's that it's no longer working.